Years ago, when I was coming out into the world to talk about what I do in my life, I presented my knitwear to this group. And one woman said, oh, color. And I thought, my God, it's like something awful to her, you know, that I was dealing with. And I began to think about it. Why is color one of those things that seems to make people nervous? And um, I thought it's because people are worried about getting it wrong. And my whole life is the revelation of how life enhancing color is, how it just lifts your spirit and takes you to a place that maybe is quite religious. You know, it's a kind of spiritual thing that happens to me when I am surrounded by color. And so being very, very interested in what makes color come alive, I get very interested in pattern, which is a huge part of why color is appealing to us. When we look at an animal's face, like these two animals I have here, or we look at flowers, or we look at um, a mosaic that is done by some ancient hands and a beautiful aesthetic, we, we realize that that is the way color is coming to us in these beautiful, beautiful, patterns and harmonies and um, so that's what my whole life's dedicated to and I decided to do a book about my house because my house is a great color laboratory it is where Brandon and I spend our lives playing with color in this form and then changing the form and changing the scale changing the pattern structure. And it's all about making color sexy and juicy and exciting. And so making a book about this house is trying to explain to people in another way from my lectures and my workshops, what it is that I actually do with color how we manipulate it, how we play with it, how we make a rag rug one day and a needle point the next day and a knitting structure the next day and then a big patchwork quilt. Uh, these are very definite ways you can play with color. Another way, of course, is just to arrange a beautiful bouquet of flowers. Um, and so this book is letting people see my collections of beautiful color. We travel the world. Brandon and I have been blessed with this um, acceptance of the world to ask us to come out and play. And so we've done it and we've come back with wonderful treasures, beautiful fabrics, beaded bags, fans, beautiful porcelains, uh, tiles, things like that, that make us uh, see how rich and beautiful the cultures of the world are and how unique each culture is in the way that it plays with color. And so we come back home and we make mosaics out of broken tiles. We, we put up wallpaper, because uh, that's another amazing way to create a background for color. And of course we do lots and lots of needlepoint cushions. Uh, and that is another fantastic way to play with color, to stitch these beautiful images. So we now have this book, which is full of pictures, hundreds and hundreds of pictures of different things that we do, how I play with paint, how I play with textiles, um, and it even has end papers of our back terrace of fabulous colored tiles, just kind of randomly patchworked together. So all of this is 
available from this amazing book. And I am hoping that people will use it as a fabulous inspiration and a cracking open of their fear of color and banishing that fear and being able to just play with color and see the life-giving, life-enhancing force that it is and bring that into their lives.